Mm, testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. I think I'm online. Welcome back to Dark Souls 2, uh, Venkabot. Uh, today, we're going to be, I think, wrapping up this uh, Ivory King DLC, which is the last DLC that I have to work on. It strikes me that if I'm going to uh, make it through this stream tonight, I'm going to have to open my heart and let the salt out. Just let the salt out, because um, last night it really whooped my ass. Okay, so where are we? We got 79,000 souls. Um, got my Black Knight sword equipped. We're in my usual gear, full havels, including the shield, which as far as I'm concerned is the Black Knight sword of this game for me. It is the deciding edge. It is the uh, defining trait of my build. So I can level up, but I've been toying with the idea of not leveling up anymore, and instead, uh, spending my souls on equipment. Um, because I want to have as much gear as possible before I quit this game. But I think I have all of the rare and boss gear that I want to use. Sorry about the audio drops. I apologize for that. Uh, what we got here? Excuse me, I'm on the wrong screen. I need to wake up a little bit here. As always, I'm just getting started off. I want to check you out. My inventory for boss souls. Okay, so I still do have all my boss souls on me. Some of these things I'm surprised I didn't use yet. So I must have ran out of money, I guess. So in that case, let's go back to, um... Ornifex. Because I know she uses the Nishandra stuff. Back to Seldora, which is uh, one of my least favorite maps in the game. Also, today I want to figure out what the hell this is. I'm missing an area here. Is there still a door that I haven't opened here? I think there might be a door I've not opened in this area yet. Let's uh, check that out too while I'm playing today. So, um, we're going to have to play it real slow here. And not let the salt overcome me. Tessiga. Oh my god! This guy has one health left. I wish he had none. Could have got four guys in one hit. Okay. So, out here there's a fucking mage who's really obnoxious. And again, I'm going to actually kill all these guys today. Normally I try and skip a few of them. But today I want to play this kind of serious. Lots of audio drops, I apologize again. These, uh, magic spells are relentless, this, the one that this guy casts. They lock on like crazy, and you can fire them very fucking fast. Hmm. I a lot of audio drops today. I'm sorry, also my volume feels a little high. I don't think I can get this guy unless he falls off there. I have to come from above, I think, to get this guy. But I have bow and arrows, and maybe I can coax him off there somehow. Come on down, bro. Maybe a jumping slash would hit him. There he is. Ooh, that felt really satisfying. Those guys are some of my least favorite enemies in the game. Super obnoxious. I said before that the most annoying thing in the Dark Souls franchise for me is when they put you up against a foe that you can't reach and it fires uh, ranged attacks. At the same time, you fight somebody that's at melee distance. So you have some enemies trying to rush you down in melee range, and some guys working you over from a distance. 
And then I quickly took that back, and because it struck me that my build is a melee build, it's a tank build, I've sacrificed a lot of really good tools. I've sacrificed some very good tools to have an exceptionally good melee build. So, for me to complain about not being able to reach guys at range distance rings kind of hollow. Uh, hollow kind of hollow. Wait, why is my audio being so weird? Let me, uh... Oh, I have a, a chrome window open. That might be a part of it here. Okay, let's see what we got here. Everything else here is, uh, more lightweight. Hello there. So yeah, Ornifex, uh, she slash he, uh, takes boss souls and turns them into rare weapons. Yeah, but it appears there are still some of these things I have not bought from her. So let's do that. So, Nishandra, I have a bow of want. Or, excuse me, I'm going to sneeze here. <coughs> God. God almighty. Okay, so. Uh, what do you got here, lady? So she can give me a bow of want, a chime of want. I think she also has a scythe. A scythe of want. Okay. So I'm a melee attacker. The scythe is the attractive to me. What's the chime? Okay, so it's some kind of um, spell tool. I really don't know for sure. A bow of want? I can't use that. It requires a lot of faith. Oh, so these all have different descriptions. That's unusual. Oh, no, not really. Well, actually, yeah, they do. Okay, so this is the bow of want. Uh, the old one of the abyss was reborn in death split into minuscule fragments and spread across the land. So the Abyss, this game seems to have very little to do with the Abyss, but uh, Dark Souls 1, the Abyss, was a pretty big deal. Light and dark are two sides of the same coin, much like the soul and the curse. The beings who presented themselves in those, uh, to those in search of kinghood were drawn to their awesome strength. Wait, I'm on. I have trouble reading today. Um, the beings who presented themselves to those in search of kinghood, is that the serpents, maybe? Uh, I think I'm gonna get the bow. Okay, so a Yorick Spear is the soul of sin. I think that's all I can use for that. Uh, that soul has no purpose aside from that. At least not in uh, equipment form. Some of these souls can also be used for spells, but I, I'm not really that interested in those. Okay, Elana, that was a really fun boss fight. And uh, not including spells, that appears to be all that soul is for. So let's do it. Very expensive, holy shit. Okay, how about the old Dragon Slayer soul? Mm, nope, that appears to be for the spear, and that's about it. Now, the Guardian Dragon? I'm not sure which dragon that was. I can also use the, um, get a great sword. I can get a great sword or a spear. Well, you know me, I like great swords. Let's do that. Okay, this is the Soul of Sir Alon. That guy was a really fun fight as well. Okay, so we'll get his sword here. It requires a lot of decks to use it. Okay, the Iron King Hammer. So that's only used for that. I think that could be used for a spell as well, but who cares? Soul of the Rotten. Okay, I think that can be used for a spell. So the Fume Sword, 
Um, I already have the Fume Ultra Greatsword, I believe. Yeah, so I don't I don't have that soul anymore. Oh man, Lud. Lud and Zalan were the uh, toughest enemies, toughest bosses in the game for me, and probably in the whole franchise. I really, I don't know, I don't really care for him. So I can get a shield, or I can get a um, greatsword, huh? This requires a lot of dex, and has very high dex scaling and very low strength scaling, so that doesn't really work for my build. What does it have going for it? Uh, Great Sword of the Knights of Lois. Uh, the Knights of Lois were commanded to strike down each malformed terror that arose from chaos, and they would not hesitate, even if it were their own king. So, uh, in Dark Souls 1, there was a lot to do with uh, the Abyss and how Dark came from the Abyss. Dark with a capital D, like uh, some deep ass lore shit. And uh, this game, this, the Abyss has a very small role. I don't think anybody's mentioned it until now. The dark is still somewhat of a factor, but the chaos, I believe, is new to this uh, Elium Lois uh, DLC, the Ivory King DLC. Apparently there's something going on in Elium Lois where some kind of chaos pit opened up and started corrupting things. Now this uh, shield I can use. But I probably wouldn't. Yeah, it's got very, pretty low stats across the board. I don't really see the idea of using it. I mean, I guess maybe for fashion souls? Okay, it's the same description. It gradually restores HP while equipped. Oh, that's awesome. I want that. Okay. So now I can't afford anything that I haven't already bought. Except for the um, curved dragon greatsword. But, um, do I already... Is that used for anything else? Um, not in terms of gear. So let's do it. Oh, the Curved Dragon Greatsword. It's a curved greatsword forged from the soul of the ancient dragon. In the Age of Ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog, a land of gray crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. So, um, I noticed that when I went into the dragon memory, where I fought um, Duke's Dear Freya, right around here in Seldora, there was a place described just as this. It's a uh, unformed land shrouded by fog, gray crags. Yeah, I was there, and I found a, a dead ancient dragon, or the ancient dragon, and I got its soul. But there is a dragon masquerading as the ancient dragon um, beyond Aldia's Keep. So that makes me wonder. I mean, what's the deal with that? This uh, timeline is very weird in Dark Souls. So it could just be that I was in the memory of a dragon, but that was the future. But, um, very suspicious. Okay, so now I'm broke. I've used up a lot of my boss souls. So, mission accomplished. Again if you find another soul. It's kind of annoying, but I think that if I, um... It doesn't show me how many of these I have. Now, if you're in a regular shop that doesn't involve trading boss souls, it'll tell you how many of that item you already have. Here it doesn't, so that means I don't really know which ones I've bought, which ones I haven't. So it's kind of a drag. Come again. So yeah, I think there might be a door I've not opened yet uh, here in Seldora, which would be nuts. Why don't we go and uh, see if we can find it? Ooh, my god. Black Knight's always doing work today, just like good old times. That's nice, a human effigy. These uh, spiders are trickier than they appear. They can attack very fast. So I, oftentimes I'll trade with them when I wish I hadn't. Okay, so yeah, I do want to go in here. And there's a door across the way from here, I believe, that I may not have explored yet. Okay, so this physics is hilarious. Look at that. Wow. Oh, Tessaiga. Yikes. 
There we go. <laughs> that board got dislodged. Okay, so yeah, I think that there's a door back through here that I have yet to be able to open. Has I found the key yet? If not, where the fuck could it possibly be? It is locked! A locked door here. Who would have the key to that door? Uh, you know what? I kind of want to teleport somewhere real quick. Where's my feather? Here it is. Hmm. There's a priest here in Seldora somewhere. Oh, hey, Steve. Glad you can make it, man. Welcome, welcome, Overlord Steve. How's your day, bro? Yeah, there's a priest around here. And I've only talked to him one time. So the best way to get to him would be from here, I think. Yeah. It's kind of a long walk, though. That's okay, though. We got all day. Steve says it's been good. Good stuff, man. So I've already done all the crap here with this campsite here. I don't really know the lore of this campsite, come to think of it. It's kind of strange. These um, soldiers never come up again, pretty much. Also, I expected that I would uh, go onto those platforms there at some point, but I never did. That's a death ball. We're gonna trigger this trap. That man killed himself. Well, that's cool, you can see the rock break apart. I would not have expected that. So right now we're actually above the area of the Duke's Dear Freya fight, I see that now. Ooh, he's got more health than I thought he would. I thought he'd be a one-hitter quitter. I don't want to backstab this guy so bad. Well, mission accomplished. George W. Bush. Hmm, okay. This sword has weird reach today, it feels like. It's like giving me all kinds of uh, really good hits that I would not have expected to get. I ain't complaining. I am not complaining. Okay, so what do we got here? So yeah, Steve, it struck me that um, there's a door down here that's still locked. I'm at the end of the game, man. I've already beaten the main game. So I want to figure out how the hell to get in there. So I'm doing a little bit more exploring here to see if I might have missed something in this area. Because I haven't been through here that many times. Uh, I was thinking recently about how in Dark Souls 1, you know, the map is much more of a... Uh, Celtic knot. Things kind of um, fold over on themselves a lot. Whereas it's not really the case in this game. Once you go through an area, you often have very little reason to return. Peasant long gloves? They have their own gear? Hmm. 
Look, these enemies are only in this area, as far as I know. It's a very, very small area. Okay, now there's spiders in here. I'm not sure if they're going to be aggressive. Oh, look, there's a spider crest on the door. That's interesting. Yeah, these guys, I don't know what makes them aggressive. They seem to be pretty chill. I don't believe I missed anything in here. Sorry about the audio drops. Today it seems extra bad. These guys are angry. Maybe they're gonna trigger the guys behind me so I have nowhere to run, huh? Oh, you're still alive? Okay. So are these guys back here mad now, or what? Hey, boys. Mm, these guys are, uh, chill AF. They are chill AF. What do these say? Oh, yeah, they're trying to tell me that I can, uh, lure the spiders to a sconce and they won't want to fight me. Okie dokie. So through here is where I fought a mini boss, or I think he had a. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he had a health bar. So he was kind of a real boss. He wasn't uh, that difficult. This guy wants to fight me, I think. Pretty sure they come and get you eventually. No hidden doors back here, though. So, this is the same cathedral where uh, I fight the spiders later. It says be wary of above, but these spiders are not that bad. I mean, sometimes they try and get you. Most of the time, not. Okay, so here's where I actually fought the boss, and beyond here is where that priest is. What is it with the Dark Souls franchise and having corners full of vases? That's funny. You don't see that too often in real life, right? Just a corner full of vases? Okay, I can destroy these, but why? Okay, so out here is where the priest is. He's right up this ladder. In here, there's just a treasure and a moth. But the moths are not aggressive, so I have no problem with them. Okay, let's climby, climby, climb, climb. Lots of spiders up here, but they, I believe, are non-aggressive. Using this one, it's kind of unusual that they're on the ground but non-aggressive. This guy gets along with him pretty well. So what do you have for sale, dude? What do you say for yourself? When you face down. Okay, so I can ask for a pardon, but I have not sinned. He has stuff for sale. Oh, he has limited of these as well. So this is rare gear. Good to know. He also has spells. Okay, so what I'm interested in is rare gear, but I was kind of hoping he'd have, like, a key or something. Anyone can be forgiven, as long as he is sincere. No matter how terrible this is, 
Surely, we all deserve mercy. Yes. It's kind of funny that a guy wearing all black, hanging out in a place full of spiders, is still less creepy than the frickin' Tickle Fingers guy at uh, Dark Souls 1, the priest. Anyone can be forgiven, no matter, sure. Alright, so he has nothing to say for himself. Whenever you are ready. He's got a rare set, though. I'd love to come back here at some point and buy that, I guess. But that doesn't help me with that locked door. Hmm. Well, there's a bonfire here? Oh, I could have walked up these... St oh, okay, I could have teleported here. Well, that's good to know for the future, I guess. Okay, I think I know which bonfire this is. Hmm. I'm missing a key. Look at that, there's a weird lighting bug. If I face this exact direction, it's brighter. <laughs> it's weird. There's spiders in here that want to kill me. Who can blame them? Oh, they're extinct. That's funny. Well, geez. If I were a... A key that I hadn't gotten yet, where the fuck would I be? I'm missing a whole area in this game, as it turns out. I can go down a few ways. I've gotten that treasure before. I know what that where that door leads, more or less. I've been there a hundred times. I've been down there less often, but I still know where that goes now. There couldn't be any treasure hidden there that I missed. And those areas I can't seem to get to at all. That's just for show, I guess, which is pretty unusual in the Dark Souls franchise, but what are you gonna do? I, I don't see any way I could possibly get there. Or any reason as to why I'd want to go there. Drop down there is, is another area. Or I can drop down there, and there's a treasure over there that I've gotten before. This area, I feel like I've not been here that often. Let's uh, see what's up if I drop down. Fucking mages are so goddamn annoying, I'll tell you what. Okay, let's sippy, sippy, sip, sip. And carry on. Now, this area is an area that I've only been to once, probably. Oh, I feel like this is right where the bonfire is. Yeah, that's, that's where this is. Okay. So there's nothing here of note. I've been here a million times as well. Yeah, the bonfire is right down there. Let's kill these spiders and use the bonfire.
I think this game has no illusory walls. I think the only illusory walls in this game are ones where uh, there's a Pharos lockstone. Okay, let's travel back. There's also that door in the Shrine of Amana that I have never opened. Let's go back um, to here and teleport to the chapel threshold. Okay, so now I'm here. I want to step outside the front door here. I can jump over there. And that's where I want to go for now. So let's do that. I must have finally killed the, um... The, um, Titanite Lizard over here. I can go down there and I can go kill that guy, but there's no reason to do that. Let's go back this way. This is where Pate is. He's been here for the whole game since I discovered him here. He never did betray me. There's a spider in here, I believe. Yeah, he's behind the wall. That's fine. These audio problems are killing me. All right, Pace. Hey, he's gonna say something he always says, which is, uh. Why did he attack me? I never did anything to hurt him. What was he thinking? I haven't done a thing. What, what and that's all Pate ever says here. Which is funny. I mean, it's kind of a strange end to the Pate side quest. Unless there's one more thing I can do with it somehow. Okay. There's a Titanite Lizard over here that I probably have never caught. Yeah, there he is. But I'm unconcerned with the likes of him. Here's an asshole. Oh, I know where this is. This is another semi-secret spot. Right, I can drop down there or something and access something or something. trap down here. Can I walk around? Yeah, I can. So I know what, what all is down there. I've been down there a million times. I 
been around here less often, but that doesn't really mean anything. Okay, I've only been in this room one time, but I'm pretty sure I got everything I wanted. Well, here's a sconce I never lit. So that's funny. Lots of destructibles here. And a switch. But I've used that switch before. It does something with this platform, I believe. Can't even pull it, that's funny. Oh, hi. That's a guy that uh, I condemned down here before. Okay, so I can come out here. There's nothing here that I want, just death. Hmm. I'm gonna walk around the outside like a trailer park girl. I can drop down into that. I guess it's better than nothing, right? I don't think I've ever been down to that platform. There's probably nothing here, right? <clears throat> yeah, there's nothing here. Audio drops for days. Kill this guy again. Kill this guy. I've got some buddies coming, I believe. Okie dokie. So let's triple check down here. In case there are some rooms that I've not been into more than a couple times. This is the room with that door that confounds me. Just a locked door. That's so bizarre. Why here? And here's that room that I can cross over from the other side. Right there. Yeah, I can drop down from there. Can I jump into there? I never considered that before. I don't see why I wouldn't be able to. Oops, I'm, uh, the camera in there is kind of wonky. Okay, there's nothing cool in here. I think there was some treasure in here originally. Yeah, there you go. I can jump up into here. I never considered trying that before. That's good to know. Hmm, da hmm, da hmm, da hmm. And this leads to the bonfire, I believe, or maybe not.
I'm surprised there's no Scots here. So here's how I can get up onto this area, and there was a treasure here at one point, I believe. I've already been down there with those peasants. And it hurts my feeties. Okay, so there's where the locked door is. That leads back to the other side of Seldora. That's where I get up there, and that's it for this area. So, over here... Strange how you hear a bonfire here. These guys are pretty benign until you step into their personal space. They're still hard at work like good peasants. Shout out to only Afro. Yeah, those spikes, they hurt you when you walk on them. But it's not so bad. Got all that treasure and killed all those peasants. Nothing left for me in here, I believe, but let's just uh, run through anyway. You know, for old times' sake. They're gonna try and swarm me, but they don't want to come near the sconce. So I'll let them gather up and then I'll tessaga them. Oh! How does it feel? Damn, that's satisfying. That's why I used a Black Knight sword in the first place, man. It's all coming back to me. A mail breaker? Did spiders drop that? Some of these spiders drop down and want to fight you, other ones don't. Dude, that guy can he, he hit, excuse me, he can hit you after death. It's the second time today he's done that. That time I was much more sure that it was post death. Maybe because he's um, got that spider on his back, he's not really just one person you can kill. Now, there was a dark spirit in here originally. Always a pleasure. So yeah, if you beat the boss, you get that key for this room. Hey there, pal. And there is more spiders in that room, but there wasn't any key in there for me. Madness. I wish this game would uh, give you better hints sometimes about what these keys are good for. See, so yeah, once you leave this room, the spiders all drop down. Here they are. Good tracking on that move. I seem... I feel much more powerful than I was last time I was here. Yeah, you're supposed to get jumped by the spiders on the way to the treasure. Hmm, but yeah, there's no key in here. And there's nothing left for me um, through... 
this area either. This is the dark area where you have to fight all those motherfuckers before the boss, which is always a pain. I've been here a million times. Hmm. This game is very massive, and again, because you have very little reason to ever return to an area after you leave, there's probably a ton of things I've missed. I probably have to do a stream of just me wandering back through the whole game, now that I'm super buff and looking for things I might have missed before. But yeah, there's nothing down there for me. So all I can um, gather is that, that key that I'm missing over here... It's either not in Seldora, or it's on an NPC that I didn't want to kill. Like the Priest, or Ornifex, or something like that. Hmm. And there's, there's also that door at, um... In, uh, Seldora, excuse me, in Amana, that I haven't opened yet either. I have no idea where the key for that door is. Let's have a look at my inventory and see if I have any keys I never used. I know that there are a few. For instance, I know I never used the statue of the ladder. It's a small ornamental ladder, a quaint little thing, but only for show. This ornament does not seem to have any particular function, and it should not be worth much, but is sold at an exorbitant price. Those are the DLC um, keys, I guess. But I have very few keys, huh? Oh, that's funny. Okay. A fang key. A strange key shaped like a wild beast's fang. What manner of dilettante would create such a key, and what might it unlock? Yeah, the fang key, I'm not sure that goes to. The antiquated key, not really sure. There's a key to the King's Passage inside Drang Lake Castle. I think that's the uh, final boss. King Ventric tried all manner of things to purge the curse that threatened his kingdom, but when every last attempt failed, the King fled through the King's Passage. The Brightstone Key. Key to Brightstone Cove, Seldora. The eccentric King Seldora, known for his fascination with spiders, built a town and a personal fortune by mining Brightstone. One day, the town was overrun by spiders, but Lord Seldora only stood by and watched, eerily contented. This is the key to the Iron Door of the Iron Keep. The old Iron King's castle sunk into a lake of fire, weighed down by the castle's iron and the burden of the king's conceit. Over the ages, the iron was stripped from the castle by opportunistic passers-by, the iron door, too, must be somewhere far away. So yeah, I'm not sure if I ever used this key. It's a key to a, a door that's out of place. Hmm. Curiositor and curiositor. But I've reached the limit of my, um, giving a fuck, right? I mean, what can I do? I have no idea how to open these doors. So let's go back and do something fun, like um, go to the DLC and fight another boss. See how real the salt is or isn't. I haven't killed King Vendrick. He might have a key that might be used in a mana or something. Okay, so I need to use this bonfire. Uh, I should actually go um, buy some of this guy's gear now. I have a little bit of souls on me. What's up, 
bra. Okay, so the white priest stuff is what he has. Um, the clerics of Drang Lake were not viewed with particular reverence, and their positions were only preserved as a nod to tradition. It's customary for clerics to wear a different garb depending on their sex, but the reason for this practice is unknown. These are the men's gloves. This is all the men's stuff. Okay. So I can probably buy all of those. Okay, do I have any hard souls on me? Probably not. We must never forget our sins. Any hard souls? Uh, no, just my um, fading souls. Okay. Mm, we Okie dokie. So let's go to the DLC stuff one more time. I'm pretty sure I'm at the end of um, the Ivory King. Oh, it strikes me. I also need to go back to uh, the gutter at some point and finish lighting sconces. So there's still a few more things for me to do when I finish the DLC, which is nice. It'll give me a nice way to wrap up the game. Kind of uh, let it fade away. Here's the Grand Chapel. This is where I'm supposed to go now. I've done everything else in uh, Ilium Lois, I believe. So I have no souls on me. I've got full health. I've got full Estus. Let's, um... Uh, let's see here. I have the Life Gem, Old Radiant Life Gem. I'm missing the Radiant ones. Let's put on the Radiant ones and the Old Radiant ones. How about that? Actually, let's tick those off. I only need the Radiant ones. I'm feeling cocky. So, is this an NPC or what? Lucatil. Huh. Well, that's pretty neat. I might summon her if I have trouble with the boss. I usually try and solo them. In Dark Souls 1, whenever there was an NPC summon, I always used it. But, uh, because I thought it was cute. Twiggy Shay. That looks like a player. But this, the name of it's pretty interesting. But yeah, in this game, there's, a, like, a at least one NPC for every boss fight, sometimes two. And I don't want them to be too easy. Because in Dark Souls 1, if you had a bo uh, NPC with you, it was always really fucking easy. Alright, guys, let's do it. Come on, boys! Wow. Okay, here we are, guys. Let's do it to it. Holy shit, there's a lot of these guys. This is fucking large scale of war. This is fucking sick. Yeah, they don't do much damage. I want to kill them before they kill my guys. This is fucking fun. Yo! It's probably gonna be a real boss though, right? Oh shit, I didn't get to heal. Oh, I might die. Damn, they got me anyway. No, my boys! Are they gonna respawn with me or no? Yeah, I got cocky. I should have played it a little bit more safe. Go, 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 go! I'm role-playing, but they're still fighting. <laughs> it's like, uh... It's like a FPS, right? Your guys get wounded, you have to run back. Okay, my, guy, my guys all respawned. I don't know how their health is looking, though. This time, let's play it a little bit more safe. Let's not just rush into combat. Let's try and, uh, watch our spacing. all that good stuff. Let's not get surrounded. 
Oh, they were invincible for a while. I need to watch my stamina. That's my real danger here. Because I was going a little bit too ham. Holy shit. That's cool. And yeah, my shield is doing work right now, as always. Okay, so there's going to be more showing up. I'm getting more armor and stuff anyway. That's fine. Here's another wave. So they spawn three at a time, it looks like. That's not so bad. Ooh, I'm, I'm surrounded by guys. Why is he growing? Oh, I think they're they're leaving into the chaos or something. They're going into where these guys came out from. There's something. Yeah, there's some shit going on. There's like fucking ice coming out of nowhere. These guys have a lot of fucking poise. Give me more armor, that's always a pleasure. What the fuck is happening? Oh, they blocked off one of the gates. Or something. Yeah, these guys, their poise is very high. My guys are holding up well, it seems. That was fun. Now Steve says, look at the dude froze when the knights come out. That's kind of what I thought. Like, he sacrificed himself to close the gate or something. That's what I thought too, Steve. There's another one. So yeah, now I'm down to two knights. So there's going to be one knight left when the last one's frozen. So he's going to start glowing and go over there and freeze, or what? Uh-oh, here comes a real boss. Oh, shit. Do I go through there, or somebody come out of there? There's still one more gate left. Oh, something's coming. Is that the king? Yo, what a badass! Okay, there's someone coming through that door again. This is the real boss. Okay. So I'm gonna let them handle those guys. I'm gonna focus on the king. This guy has a long combo. Oh, what the fuck? your jobs fuck damn I didn't have time to heal yes fight's tough I'm I'm being not defensive enough I'm not being defensive enough I'm having too much fun with my buddies and I'm not keeping a good distance I need to be running away I had a big conversation with somebody on Twitter recently about this game and uh, how you never have to lose any fight once. You never have to lose it. Um, some say you, you have to die to find the enemy's patterns, but that's not true. You have to just run away. You have to always hold your shield up and run the fuck away and watch them. And uh, that's not what I'm doing. I'm, I'm not keeping a good distance between me and the boss. I need to be aware of where they're at and keep backpedaling forever. It doesn't seem that hard, it's just, uh, you, know, you get caught in a, a bad circumstance, and you die. You just need to make sure that those, um, circumstances don't happen. Okay, this guy's dropping a ton of souls, it would seem. Yeah, these guys are kind of obnoxious because they have spells. That's the real danger. Oh, he's still alive? Son of a bitch. Do your jobs, assholes. Do your jobs. Ooh, shit. I might die here, too. Yeah, these guys, they're, uh... 
They can move very fast. They have long range attacks as well. I think you can backstab them though, probably. They seem to get stunned in about two hits. Oh, my guys have long range attacks too. Ow. It's kind of hard to keep track of all the action sometimes. Like right now, I need to run. I need to just run for it. Because this is not an ideal situation. I'm like surrounded by guys. I'm gonna keep them all on one side of you. Okay, that guy's blowing. He's gonna go freeze. Okay, once again, I don't have a good idea of what's going on. Yeah, I knew there was a guy over there. Okay, my guys are getting a little bit low on health, but they're okay. Yeah, my guys, they don't have a very good attention span. They like to fuck a guy up for a minute and then run away and do something else. Like, dude, help me out. How we doing? Okay, so what do we got now? We got uh, all three doors frozen? How come that didn't happen last time? That's gonna make this easier. Yeah, now all three doors are frozen. Maybe they only freeze when they get low on health or something? Okay, so now let's be defensive against this guy and really learn his patterns, because I don't feel safe. This guy's kind of a gangster. He has very long combos. Stab, slice, then jumping slice. That's got to be the end of it. Stab, slice. I'm low on stamina. Oh, he can jumping slice too. It's got a little bit of a delayed hit there. Slice, he can jumping slice off that. And running stab, that's a, appears to be a one shot. Oh no. Nope. Do the whole thing. Okay, he's a slice and a slice. Slice, slice, and then another slice. That might be the forehand. Okay, he can do a jumping slice. Slice, slice, and he has one more attack. Get some stamina back. There's another move here. What is he doing without us? Oh, oh. I don't like the look of that. Oh, it's just, he has all the same moves now, but they're longer range. It's okay, though. You want to dodge into him, probably, anyway. That broke all my stamina, and then he went for a kill. That's going to be a AoE, I think. Did a lot of fucking damage. It's okay. Oh, fuck. I think I can heal there. It's very close, though. That's a throw. And he's kind of like a, a lawn, where that throw can come out fast or can come out slow. You have to just watch for his movement. That move's kind of delayed. Ouch. That's doing magic damage. That's an AoE for sure, but it's pretty close range. I need to know which way to circle him. Um, that worked pretty well. That's a throw! God, it's really hard to dodge. Yeah, what could go wrong, dude? He's a man after my own heart. Alright, that wore off, finally. 
two. And that can be a three. That can be a combo as well, I believe. Or maybe maybe the jumping one isn't. That one's not. Okay, that can be a four hit, I think. Oh, that can be the four hit. Okay. That worked out, I guess. Ouch. Changing my gear here. Oh! No! Wow, that comes at you so fast. That time I was waiting for it, because I knew it was, I, had, I had to wait to see when it would happen, and even then I couldn't dodge it. Damn. Uh, audio's slowly fast from the video? Do you mean for the game or for my voice? Also, thank you, Steve. That throw is fucking brutal, man. You have to wait for it to start moving to dodge it. But it comes at you so fast. Oh, for my voice? Okay. Um, uh, let me fix that right now, I guess. Yeah, my audio is always slightly off sync for my voice. There's no way to synchronize it. I have to do it by hand. For every stream. So, uh... Usually I just try and get it close enough, but if it's distracting, I will fix it. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to do my usual test here. Oh yeah, it's quite off sync. It seems to have gotten more off sync somehow. Sorry about that. Let me uh, fix that here. Let's um, raise this to, like, okay, let's see here, okay, still a little bit early. Yeah, I wonder how it got off sync. I always have to set it up before I start streaming. They're not ever so slightly late. Let's give it a little bit sooner and call it a day. Okay, there we go. Close enough. Sorry about that, Steve. And thanks for letting me know. <laughs> Explain we're getting caught by throws. <laughs> Good shit, man. That's how it happens, man. The salt will tell the secret. Okay, so I can get Lucatil if I wanted to, but I don't. That fight is actually really fun. I'm really enjoying this fight. I wouldn't say it's too hard. I am just uh, need a little more experience. So, let's, uh, use the human effigy. Get our health restored. So, yeah, this, uh, this guy, he attacks so fast, it's very hard to heal against him. I always feel bad about it when I do it, like I, like it's, I'm uh, getting lucky every time. I feel like, I feel like if he was operating at full speed, if not for those little moments of luck where, you know, the computer's trying to decide what to do. Um, I feel like he could prevent me from healing 99% of the time. Uh, that is, uh, judging from his animations. It seems like his animations finish in time to punish Anestis. But that, uh, he wastes a second or two trying to figure out what he wants to do next. That ain't always the case. So it seems that these, uh, knights of mine, they regain their health as well. So that's nice. I see no reason to be, um, aggressive here. Because the knights that I have seem to really do the job against these guys. They don't die. 
So really, I need to relax and let them do a lot more work. Oh, I can't backstab him? Oh, come on, that was freaking out of that hit. Alright, so I'm letting them do some work here. I'm using life gems, they're cheap. Because they're dropping gear, which is great. Ooh, a voice soul. That's good. Cool. Okay, let these guys work. Seems like my knights are a little bit more effective than theirs. Get some stamina back. Get this item. I want to backstab these guys really bad. Okay, so he's glowing now. I have no idea what triggers that. But I really wish they would do that before the boss, the final boss shows up. Maybe it's a time limit. Maybe if I go slower, they're, they, they're inclined to do that. Which could end up being a bad thing, you know what I mean? Put some stamina back here. Good shit, homie. Sorry about the audio drop there. We got knights on all sides of us, some with more health than others. Oh yeah, they have shields too? I mean, I know they had them graphically, I didn't know they actually worked. Come on, I hit the square button, but again, it's uh, really finicky in this game when that actually works. So we got uh, gear here. We got two more left. I think I'm out of knights. So that's uh... oh no, I got one more knight left. Oh, yeah, I, I do have a spare knight, don't I? Yeah, there's I have three to to do their thing, and then I have an extra one to help me with the boss. So that's nice. Okay, so now we have full Estus. This guy's a real gangster. Really be careful when he has his magic sword. And uh, run away. In fact, I should always run when he has his magic sword, because I want as much distance between me and him as possible when he does that throw. I think he only does the throw when he has the magic sword. And uh, the, the further I am from him, the longer I'll have to react when he dashes at me. The magic sword is temporary. It lasts for a long time, though. That's okay. That, oh, right, that does all my shield damage. Not a good start. Alright, that worked. Leave my homie alone, dude. That's the one that breaks my shield. That can be a very long combo. That can be as long as three hits. When he doesn't have his, uh, his uh, magic sword, I want to stay close. That makes him want to jump away, which I like. Right, it doesn't, take, it doesn't take him very long to get over that. And right, now just run like hell. Always run. That was really did no damage. Okay. Here's the AoE. Just give him a lot of space. Just give him a lot of fucking space because that throw is fucking dangerous. I can block those, no problem.
Ooh, it got me. God, this move is so fucking fearsome. I saw him. I saw it coming too. But what can I do? I couldn't react fast enough. Yeah, see, he punished me for my Estus. I couldn't have Estus any faster than I did. If he throws me, I'm done for. Okay. I think he actually has a, a, a pre-canned time limit. I don't think that it is a random. But the further I am, the better, anyway. These I can block, it's not a big deal. That can be a four hit. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure he won't throw me. If I'm behind him, I'm safe to attack because he'll always run away. Okay. Wow, he gets a good distance on that. Okay, there it is. He gave me time to heal. I don't think he has to. I can get one or two hits here. Just one this time. Okay, that worked out well. There! Yeah, it's it's pre-can. It's not like the it's not like a lot. Okay, I need to heal now. Like that. There! Oh shit, too late. It doesn't do a full half my health though, so I can take it twice in a row if I have to. Okay, he'll jump away now, I think, I'm behind him. He doesn't like me being close, so let's do that and move on too close. That does a lot of my stamina, actually. Full distance there. Good shit. I'm proud of this. I'm really proud of how I'm doing here. That was a good block. Get some stamina back. Ouch. I want to heal. He can't throw me anymore. That can combo, I think. It's when he jumps he can't combo. There he is. Oh, he can combo off the jump. He's going to start charging his sword now. One... Two. I need to heal. That works. There. Yeah, that's a pre-canned time limit. I wish that hadn't whiffed. I wish that hadn't whiffed. Well, that can combo, after all. Some stamina. That was so early, holy shit, that was really bad. I want to heal again. That can be a four hit. good now. Damn, I hate that move. I wish that move was in this game. And you're done, homie. Oh, that's a really fucking great fight, though. 
Yeah, I swear, man, the, the rolling attack in this game is so shitty. I, I don't know. It just seems poorly designed to me. It doesn't lock on for shit. And it, well, I don't know. I guess you could argue that... Oh, thanks, Steve. I wish you could... Uh, I guess you could argue that it's a punishment for hitting the attack button too early. Like, you know, uh, you could say, well, in real melee combat, if you were rolling into an attack, you wouldn't be able to aim it, right? You'd have to do it the way you were rolling. But it just, it always fucks me up. Because you, you very rarely roll into an enemy and use it properly. It always comes out when you don't want it. But I will. I'm just bitching. That was a really great fight. I really enjoyed every part of it. I love the first part where you have the, uh, the homies with you. That was so fucking sick. And the actual boss fight itself reminded me of the Fume Knight, which is my favorite boss in the franchise. To anybody watching on YouTube, yeah, his most dangerous attack was his throw. And, um, Alan, Sir Alan from the, um, from the, uh, Iron King DLC, you know, the, the Tower of Broom. Yeah, so far. You're right, Steve, so far. Yeah, Sir Alan, he had a throw, or another long range attack as well that the gimmick behind it was that he could charge it um, however long he wanted. He could charge it for a second or two seconds or however long he wanted. So the only way to dodge it was to wait for it to actually come at you and then dodge it then. Um, but that must have been a little bit slower to give you more time to react. This guy's uh, throw, really you didn't have time to react um, on sight, but it was timed after all. I was mistaken thinking that it was a random time. So once you get the timing down, it's not that bad. Oh boy. Okay, let's get the hell out of here, right? Let me double check to make sure I didn't miss any uh, collectibles here. So I believe that was the last boss that I'm necessarily going to fight in this game. Because I'm still not 100% sure I want to fight Vendrick or the uh, Ancient Dragon. I'm not 100% sure. Because they are optional and they are non aggressive, which kind of goes against my policy of. Uh, killing enemies that don't attack me first. But they might have goodies I really, really want, though. Okay, I got the crown. Dash pretty neat. This is the chaos. So it looks like uh, I got tree roots above me. And lava below me. sky above me. I mean, I see clouds up there. There's smoke. And stars as well would appear. Oh, no, that's not stars. That's just uh, ash. So, yeah, each of the knights um, gave their life to close one of the doors. Pretty cool. It's a scary sound from this teleporter. Let's talk to the uh, queen or whoever she is, some um, somebody loyal to the king who asked me to do this, and we'll um, get the last cinematic I'm missing here. What's up, girl? You've granted my one wish. Now, I have no regrets. I was born amidst the dark. Long ago, in the depths of the abyss, my father perished. The dark shattered into tiny pieces, one of which was me. How frightened I was, a frail thing, born from but a splinter of dark. I felt that I might simply disappear. I am, in fact, the incarnation. 
Vision of my father's fears. I saw that the king of this land was strong. I sought him only to sustain myself, to smother my fears. Now I realize that he may have known all along. I was born of fear, and my lord provided comfort. And so, here I remain, heiress to my lord's wishes, watching over chaos. Hmm. Until the end of time. So, Steve, before you logged in, I was musing about how uh, the stuff in this DLC is the first time the, the the Abyss has been mentioned in Dark Souls 2, right? The Abyss was a big deal in Dark Souls 1, but in this game it wasn't a, such a big deal. Um, so, she was born when her father died in the Abyss. Who do you think that could be? Manus? Um, uh, Maybe one of the four kings? Wasn't that the Abyss as well? Maybe, um... Um... You know, um... Arturius? He was supposed to have died in the Abyss, but it turned out he actually survived, kind of. At least physically. The knights of Aleonis were swallowed by the chaos. Where their souls still remain. I pray for their deliverance. Yeah, me neither. But the lore in this game seems pretty good. I heard that they enhanced the lore a lot for the um, Scholar Edition, as compared to the um, first version. I'm going to take a very short break, though. I'll be back in like two minutes, and uh, I'll see you then. We'll carry on with some cool stuff.